Hello, it's the Seahawks fan with another Go Battle League video. We got Great League Remix and we have Annihilate. You beat it or bring it. And we are bringing Annihilate. We also have Shadow, Feraligator, and Mandibuzz. Now, while there are plenty of the meta Pokemon out, we have Annihilate still. And I mean, it is new enough. And it is in the spotlight one of the best things you can have in Go Battle League, in Great Ultra, and even a uh, decent in Master League. Was well, fantastic in Master Premier, but definitely outmatched by a lot of legendaries, but still usable in Master Open Master. And here we make a catch from the payback on this uh, from the double. And we're just going to go for some extra energy. They only have a body slam. And payback is not going to do too much. I don't want to take another body slam. And I was uh, about to reach cap energy. And we have a beautiful target for the Annihilate. So we're just going to unleash what energy we have. They're going to debuff me. Oh no, it's Crunch. I did throw on CMP tie and lost. But Annihilate comes in, we can Night Slash. Now, it's possible to run Ice Punch or Close Combat, but Night Slash is their fastest charge attack. And with the 10% chance at getting the attack boost, which can definitely win you some games if you're lucky. And the Steelix is no match for the counter user. Now we have Mantine in the lead, bad lead, pivot into Shadow for Alligator. They do have a Fairy Thorn, so they have a hard counter safe swap to my for Alligator. But as a Shadow, I'm able to get some nice damage. And they should have they should have taken another move because we can counter them down. If they had Thunder, that's fine. Power Whip, okay. We need charge attacks. For that man time that's going to return. We're going to full send the shadow ball. And kaboom. We land at yellow health man time. We have two shields apiece. We have the bulky man to buzz. And we call the ice beam. They are in foul play range. Oh dog pulse range I mean. It's not Umbreon. It's, it's man to buzz. Ice beam does bring me under half health. Going to reach an aerial ace before they have the their aerial ace charged up. They have annihilate. They're going to have a night slash now. We're going to bring in our annihilate. Get that energy off them because they they do not know how much energy we had. Going to shield up just in case they the, get the attack boost. And it release one and two. If they had their Night Slash boost, then they definitely could have won. But we shielded either way, which I think would have been just enough health left over. Bad lead into carving, but going to stay in the lead, land the Shadow Ball. That would deal with it somehow. I'd grab a shield, which was a surprise. This was the first carbon lead I faced, and I mean, I you do not want to take a Moonblast. And now, we have, we grab a shield off that Mantine. It was the Shadow Ball, which is a little unfortunate, but we got them out of their car, uh, we got them out of the carbon. So, Mandibuzz is unleashed, and we're going to overcharge because... Water Pulse. Now this is not enough for Knockout. Oh, they pivot into Carbink. Okay. Unfortunate. Going to just bring in Shadow for Alligator. Going to shield up. Go for some extra energy. That is a full send. Moonblast. And they are out of energy. We have back-to-back -back Hydro Cannons loaded. Odds are they're not going to win CMP tie. Against what comes in. I... Get some more Shadow Claws before I Ice Beam the Victory Bell. And Shadow for Alligator with the sweep in 
Great League Remix. Another Carbink lead. 1500 CP Carbink on the dot. Okay, this is uh, pretty much as good as you can get. The funny thing is, my Annihilate, I haven't built the better one that I have, but for now. Ooh, Mand Mandibus Target. Sh uh, Shadow Victory Bell with Magical Leaf. Cool. Razor Leaf would have tear torn through my Annihilate. More. Mandibuzz has they both needed to survive. I'm down a shield, but they're down a Pokemon. Gonna get a Dog Pulse to get some chip. Gonna bring in Fru Alligator, and I found a Glade. Okay, okay. Glade throws a Leaf Blade. I'm going to throw back-to-back -back Hydro Cannons. That was the MP tie win, so they're energy dry, which is beautiful. Or they waited, I think, actually. Trying to wait out the timer. And I'm going to reach this night slashing time for it. Oh, but a countdown. Oh my gosh. Carving gets met by a night slash. Rock Slide is not enough. Woohoo! That was a bit, bit of a close end game. But we have a beautiful lead here Shadow Magnezone. And we have the Superior Wall in Mandibuzz. We, are, uh, we have turned the tables with this team. A Relays Kaboom under half health. We actually want them to whittle us down because we cannot give that Shadow Magnezone tons of energy. I didn't want to waste energy, so it really is next. They do reach another move, which is fantastic. Less energy. And we can snarl and then dog pulse that magnet zone, which they bring in. Because they're going to get some bolt switch energy on. And we reach another snarl, another dog pulse. We hang on for dear life. We land. They do have four of uh, three bolt switches. But they get countered down. And their Frost Slash has... Does not have the capacity. We have a Shadow Dragonite, which is bad. Going to pivot into for Alligator. Going to throw the Hydro Cannon before their Dragon Claw is up. They're going to get the Dragon Bit down, which is super annoying. But that's Dragonite out of the way. And I imagine it is a Shadow Dragonite Double Steel. Mandibuzz is able to tank that move like a champ. They do reach the next Dragon Claw and win CMP tie. I do miss the bubble. Great only. It's still enough for knockout. And here comes Annihilate. They do have a Mantine. This is going to be close. This is going to be close. But I got the Night Slash boost. Night Slash Boost saving the day. The extra damage from counter. The extra damage from Night Slash. Going to grab the last shield. Now going to still be a little tricky here. Going to overcharge just enough to not get hit by an A release. And the Empoleon is forced to throw. And we are going to reach the Dog Pulse. And the Penguin is not tanky enough to survive the Dog Pulse. Woohoo! Annihilate beat it or bring it. And this person has a Nightmare lead. They have a Tropius, which... So nice to have this up against my Mandibuzz instead of the dreaded... Nightmare matchup of Shadow for Alligator. Or the Annihilate... And now I am going to just get some extra energy. Because Dugong is still going to be at a bit of a problem. But the next air we lace. And we are going to go for the farm down. Can we snow farm down this? Tropius. 
we are barely able to. And we just throw the dog pulse expecting the ice type. Do we survive? We survive. And the next dog pulse lands. Under half health. Annihilate comes in. We are going to throw Night Slash. And kaboom. Oh. They survive. Okay. We are going to shield up. It is icy when that's a little bit of a problem. But we have Shadow for Alligator. Now they are up a shield. Going to be kind of a little nuanced. But they don't have Night Slash. They done goofed. No Night Slash. And we are going to reach the next Hydro Cannon. Kaboom. The shield is gone. We have the next Night Slash. Night Slash is so needed. Ice Punch into my shield. And Night Slash takes him out with the attack boost to unnecessarily end off the battle. We have a neutral lead here. They have a Palapita bring in, and we bring in our bulk monster. Which is fantastic because we don't want the electric type going up against our bird. Their bird launches a hurricane, which is massive damage. And Weather Ball is their next move. Dog Pulse grabs a shield. I'm going to reach a a release, and I don't mind letting the, it go. We can Shadow Claw Farm down. We do take a Weather Ball, but only a Weather Ball. We are going to be able to Hydro Cannon and do a boatload of damage. It does land. They do have a Mana Buzz, which, okay. We are going to have to rely on Counter to add up. We shield the air release. We are going to be taking an air release to the face. And we have Shadow Ball. Going to be as much damage as we can get. Here you would definitely want Ice Punch, but we do not have it. We do get some Night Slash knockout. And we are going to Shadow Claw down the Stun Fisk. Let's go. Getting the... Shadow Claw down. In a tight end game. And we have a beautiful lead into Dugong. They're going to stay in. They stay in. They let us get some big counters in. They do Icy win, So well played by them. Going to full send the Shadow Ball. And they get KO'd. They have Hypno. We pivot into Shadow for Alligator. They bring in Shadow Machamp. Hydro Cannon grabs their first shield. We force them to throw the energy. Let's go. Now we have a beautiful counter user up against their counter user. And we take a lot less damage as a per ghost. And I know shield the cross shot. Oh, Rock Slide. Not even enough. Let's go. One more counter before the Night Slash. Grabs a shield. And we have the Amanda Buzz and two out. Well, Mana Buzz into their Hypno. And, okay, Ice Punch. They need a lot of Ice Punches, but we are going to be reaching Dog Pulse. And then we need just one more Dog Pulse. We didn't have Aerial Ace, but oh, it was safe enough battle. Now, Focus Plus is a nuke, and I, that, that probably doesn't even take a, half the health of, off of Mana Buzz. Especially my bulky mana buzz, but we have bad lead once again. Toxapex gonna go full send the shadow ball. And kaboom! One to half health. We bring in mana buzz and sludge wave is actually gonna do some nice damage still. We're gonna air release in proper timing. Red health toxapex and we're gonna throw the next move. Maybe grab a KO. We grab a shield. Beautiful. Now Dog Pulse. It's going to be able to do about half health. Just shy of that. They're going to throw before our next move is loaded. And we can... Oh! I actually did have the Dog Pulse loaded. But they do shield. So it's fine either way. 
and we can shield up this drill pack or we no shield it. Count it down, two shields for Shadow for Alligator and Steelix. Okay, would have been nice to shield up that uh, that uh, Annihilate, but it's fine. We shield a Breaking Swipe, no debuff. They have Tox Packs. And we just need to Shadow Claw. Oh no, can we survive the brine? We survived the brine. And we have a move. That that was almost a massive fumble from annoying lead, bad lead, but not the worst. Now let's see in the next battle we have Galvantula and we have to stay in in this bad matchup. This is something that would tear through anything in my back line. Launch goes unshielded, which is nice by me. Night Slash grabs a shield. They're going to cross poison. Am I going to be able to land this Shadow Ball? I do. And let's just... Okay, we wait just to see what it is. And we bring in Mandibuzz. And let's go for the air, air release up against this poison type. We're going to have another... Oh, move loaded. We're going to Dark Pulse this time. Try to get some extra damage. And we reach the... It really the same time as the next move, which is fine. We can Shadow Claw. Just waiting out the timer just a bit. It is up. Okay, a little, little interesting. Going to be able to... Land a few Hydro Cannons. But... The first one's going to land. We're going to survive. Nope. And we are going to have back-to-back -back moves. And they are not going to take us out in time. We had a shield. They knew we had enough energy. And now Annihilate Mirror Match. This double team of uh, Annihilate Shadow for Alligator. Pretty powerful. And Mandibuzz is just... Such a fantastic third option, especially for the grass types, and you may see, but just a bulky Pokemon that you can absorb so much energy, and that Shadow Ball catch, I guess just forcing the energy, she definitely should have held on to it, but not easy to take out Mandibuzz, and we have the Dark Pulse for the Mantine. Mantine is down to red health. They are going to throw. They are going to get me out. But I can bring in for alligator. And I can get a full. Oh. Uh, they, they are just bulky enough to. Reach an air release. Okay. I do have a full. Hydro can loaded. But. Three more shadow claws for the next. And they cannot counter me down in time. And now I have my annihilate still. They have no shields. And uh. Steelix. Okay, let's take out this big snake. Kaboom! And we are going to be able to shield up and counter down in time. And yeah, Steelix did not have enough left in the tank. Beautiful. Next battle, we have Dugong once again. Absolutely gorgeous lead. They have Superior, and we're actually going to unleash the Shadow Ball. We do grab a shield. Going to get us some extra energy because I do want some a move loaded at least. They are going to have the air release go into my mandibuzz. Now the switch timers are misaligned, which is a bit of a problem. Just going to get some energy. They're going to have a good target for the dugong to return. And I'm going to be throwing dog pulses. Going to get them under half health after two dog pulses before they can debuff me. Which is Fantabadozy. Icy Wind is not enough for knockout. Going to have a move bank, but actually, no, not gonna, just going to stay in, get some damage. Not trying to swap. Their shield is down. Ooh, they are around. They land the Icy Wind. I am debuffed, but let's get rid of that debuff. I have a move loaded. 
going to be able to shield up that frenzy plant or airy lace, whatever it is. Shadow Claw down. Oh, they they swap in time. They reach Night Slash. I survive it. And I have the energy I need on the Annihilate. But we take each other out. Shadow Ball for the Superior to take out the Superior from Annihilate. Annihilate, you got to beat it or bring it. And even if you bring it, you do not always win against it. Back to Carbink lead. Okay, okay. 1495 Carbink. Pretty incredible. Gonna go for the Shadow Ball. And this time we actually land it. As I would expect most Carbinks would do that. They're going to be able to grab a shield because Moonblast is a little too much damage. And I definitely feel like I need this fighter. I slash chips them just enough to avoid the next move. I am going to full send the Shadow Ball. They don't have Night Slash. Kaboom! And they concede because, yeah, they didn't want any of the business. Now we have Mantine and lead back to you. Bad leads. We're going to bring in Mandibuzz for the Mantine. They're going to bring in Steelix and we just want to get what damage we can with Dog Pulses. They're going to be able to debuff me, but Crunch is not going to be doing much. I mean, it's all fast move pressure for the real damage on me with Steelix. And I'm going to be able to put some nice extra damage. I do kind of want to leave with energy, which I can now. I'm going to reach the Night Slash. I grab a shield. I have the attack boost. I can no shield. The Psychic Fangs. And they have the Mantine. I should have just thrown the Night Slash, but... Shield gone down. If for some reason they no shield... But knowing they had the boost, wise. One more snarl to throw before we dark pulse. And they have a move. And I survive. Potential maybe last second catch. But I get the Shadow Claw down with Feraligator in time. They have Steelix still. And they can see. Let's go. They do not want the Shadow Gator. We have Toga Kit. T Toga tick. They're going to have a aerial ace, which is annoying, but so be it. Fairy wind, very energy efficient. Shadow ball goes kaboom. Yellow health, and we are going to just let the annihilate go. Shadow claw down with Gator. We do have to commit a shield, but let's see what this Gator can do. We shield up that nuke of a. Dazzling Gleam. That would have been game over, potentially. Back-to-back -back Hydro Cannons for this Water Mud Boy. And we bring in Mandibuzz. They're going to be able to Stone Edge me. Oh, Aqua Tail. Nah. They're going to win CMP tie. Just another Aqua Tail. We actually didn't throw, so... Dog Pulse time. Grabs a shield. Their shields are down. Are they going to make this? Are they going to regret this? Oh, they make a nice catch of the dog poles. Switch timer is up. We bring it. We no shield the aqua tail. Yes, that's what they've been throwing only. We leave with some nice energy. We were just one move away from the hydro cannon, but we cannot reach two hydro cannons for the win. But we have the Mandibuzz, and Mandibuzz has a release. And we can take out the Scrafty. And that's a long video. We had a lot of battles with Go Battle Weekend. And hit the like button if you enjoy Annihilate. It is incredible. Shadow for Alligator is also incredible. And Mandibuzz is amazing. Such a nightmare to face off. But subscribe for daily Go Battle League videos. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.